Okay, hopefully this is the last one. I get so rudely interrupted by my storage on my phone. Uh, same radiation, we're not really talking about a lot. Um, the sun radiates out of my face. The sun has a higher amount of energy than me, and so that radiation travels this way. Uh, we feel it's kind of like a beam of particles, if you want to look at it like that. Light is radiation, uh, infrared, um, ultraviolet, gamma rays, x-rays, the visual light spectrum, all those colors you see. That's all types of radiation, and that's actually energy. Um, so let's quickly review the experiment that we went through and how our experiment today shows conduction, because it showed conduction really well. And if you look in the notes, which is probably one more box above me, um, on canvas, you will be able to see the board notes and some sample data from our experiment. Now, we started out, we had hot washers. I was cooking these, it was about 70 degrees Celsius um, in the water here. And I took these hot washers and I put them into the cold water. And so I had some washers down in here and the string was hanging out. And we put a thermometer in there and we noticed that the water rose. So I increased the energy in that water. Now if I continue to increase that liquid, it would have eventually evaporated away and it would have became a different state of matter. Uh, we didn't increase the energy that much, but we did. And so we had from this hot washer with lots of energy, we had energy moving into the liquid. So we increased the liquid's energy, increasing the rate of evaporation we were decreasing the rate of condensation. Now in the other experiment, we had a room temperature water, about 20 degrees Celsius washer, and we had about 70 degrees Celsius hot water. Same idea, we took this cold washer and we put it into the hot water, and we noticed that the water uh, got a little bit colder, but mostly the washer increased in heat. We saw a huge increase in the heat or the temperature of that washer because the energy from the water was moving into the washer. So you could say in this situation up here, the hot water had the high amount of energy, the cold water had a cold or low amount of energy, and the transfer went from high to low, and so we saw a decrease in temperature meaning a decrease in energy, and we saw a increase in temperature, meaning an increase in energy. Same thing over here, in this situation, the high concentration of energy was in the hot water, the low concentration of energy was in the washer, and we saw a transfer of heat, a conduction of heat energy, from high concentration to low concentration, we saw a decrease in the water temperature, meaning a decrease in energy, we saw a 